Okay, I introduced the uh, Laplace trick in the previous video. Um, if you wanted a little bit more on this, uh, you could find it in my NMATH A course in the, in the later part of the Laplace module. Um, when we're doing probability stuff, expectations, it's, it's used when you have an X, this e to, the, e to the minus X type stuff somewhere in your PDF. That's where it kind of comes in handy. And a lot of a lot of probability distributions do have that exponential. So now we'll apply it to the Rayleigh distribution and dig into this Rayleigh distribution. Um, here we'll say we're given the PDF. Here's the PDF of a Rayleigh distribution. Uh, it's zero for R less than zero. So this is what it is for R greater than zero. So, find the mean. Well, that means multiply this guy. It's a function of R. R is the random variable. So, we need to multiply by another little R times this. So, this is the integral we need to take. I'm going to do a variable substitution. This is not integration by parts. We'll just call U equals R squared. We'll go through all the pain of this. Uh, you do that variable substitution, and it becomes this integral. At this point, we can use the Laplace trick. U is like t. So this is the Laplace, like the Laplace transform of t to the 1 half, where s is 1 over 2 sigma squared. Right, we kind of compare these exponents. Anything that's not just minus t is s. So here, anything that's not minus u is s, so s is one over two sigma squared. So t to the one half, that's a little tricky. You, you, you would need the Laplace table. So you could argue we didn't save that much work here. Here's the, La, the Laplace transform of t to the one half. And we need to plug in s equals one over two sigma squared. That's the simplification's a little algebraically tedious. But anyway, here's the mean. Square root of pi over two times this sigma. This sigma, by the way, is not the standard deviation of this random variable. Um, now let's find the variance. So that means the expectation we need to find the second moment. Let's find e to the r squared. So that's multiplied by r squared. We already had an r, so now we have an r cubed. We'll let u equals r squared again. We'll do some variable substitution. So now we have to evaluate this integral. This is more straightforward. This is just like we'll plaster in term of t where again, S equals one over two sigma squared. Laplace transform of T is one over S squared. If you're familiar with Laplace transform, that's an easy transform. You almost have it memorized by doing very much of it. And anyway, that ends up being two sigma squared. That is the second moment here, the mean squared. The variance, which is what was asked for, is gonna be that mean squared minus the square of the mean. So it's the two sigma squared minus this thing squared. So there is the variance. Now let's do the mode. Remember what the mode is? That's the most likely value or the peak of the PDF. If it has a unique peak. This guy does have a unique peak. We find that peak by simple calculus. We take the derivative and set it equal to zero. That will be the peak point. Um, should have had a graph of this thing. It kind of goes up from zero, goes up, and then trails off, it goes back down to zero. Sort of like a shifted, melted Gaussian. Anyway, so you take this derivative with respect to R. I'm not going to go through that pain. Set it equal to zero. It says this. 
So it's where R equals sigma. So this distribution, its peak is where R equals sigma. So we have the mean, the variance, and the mode, the Rayleigh distribution. <laughs>